Hey now, brawlers, it's time for another Board Game Brawl review with Nick Meanahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey now, it's time for another Dice Masters review. Ah, they come like the changing of the seasons. This one is DC Dice Masters from WizKids, like all the other ones have been. And obviously this is the same Dice Masters system, but now featuring all of the heroes, villains, and equipment from the DC Comics universe, which probably puts it as the... Uh, most similar to the original Dice Master set, which was Avengers vs. X-Men, and also Uncanny X-Men as well, and that it features superheroes, and you have different, uh, you have the heroes and their organizations, and the villains' organizations, and I will tell you right now, there's not too much that's drastically different about DC Dice Masters, but there's a few things that I noticed, so let me go ahead and do a brief overview of just some of the cards that come in the set. I have the starter set, and I'll just go ahead and show you some of the stuff that comes in um, the actual booster packs for the game because I may have <coughs> bought a gravity feed <coughs> and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, I'm just going to run through some of the new cards. Uh, first from the DC Dice Masters Justice League starter set. Then I'm going to go through some of the cards that you can find in the booster packs, the, the gravity feed booster packs. I'm not going to show you every card, I'm just going to give you a taste. So, in typical starting deck or starting set fashion, like the other starting sets for Dice Masters, you're going to have three each of a bunch of different heroes and villains in the starter set with two dice each of each of those. And then you're going to have eight basic action cards along with all of your sidekick dice and your action dice and so on. I'm not going to show all that different stuff. I'm just going to show you the cards and a die representing each of them. So you have cards from Batman. Batman, world's greatest detective. While Batman is active, whenever you field a different Justice League character, you gain a life. He has your retaliation ability. If an affiliated character is KO'd, deal damage to an opposing player. And there's his Batman die. Then you have Dark Side. Uh, this is Darkseid's God of Apocalypse. He gets plus four attack and defense when blocking or blocked by any of the Justice League characters. Then you have Deathstroke. This is his Slade Wilson card. He has Regenerate, which means that anytime he's knocked out, you simply re-roll him. Then you have Green Arrow. It's Emerald Archer card. Uh, here's his die. When Green Arrow attacks, you deal one damage to your opponent for each opposing character with the villain affiliation in play. There's a lot of stuff like that in this uh, version of the game. You have Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter gets plus three attack and plus three defense until end of turn when engaged with shield energy characters uh, up in the top corner there. And this is his founding member card of the Justice League. You have Superman the Man of Steel. Uh, his card here says that when fielded, you may get two to purchase. You may pay two to purchase a different character with the Justice League affiliation and put them directly into your bag. And you have Wonder Woman, uh, her champion of Themyscira. Remember, there's three of each of these cards, so I'm just showing you one of each of them. Uh, while Wonder Woman is active, other characters with the Justice League affiliation cost one less to field. So there's a lot of synergistic stuff there. You have Zatanna, who uh, has her Zatanna Zatara card. Of course, it's Zatanna, so it's written backwards. Not all of her cards are written backwards, but only the amusing ones. Uh, this one is, there's her card. It's a hat. If that's At first, you might think, oh, it's the Mad Hatter. He's in this game. Uh, when fielded, draw a die from your bag and add it to your prep area. Then I'll show you a few of the new basic action cards. You have uh, Pick Your Battles. Each of your characters can only be blocked by opposing characters of the same energy type, and your sidekicks can only be blocked by sidekicks. The Phantom Zone, which is a really weird card. Uh, take any characters in the field and place it on this card, and move any dice you place onto this card on a previous turn into its owner's prep area. If this effect is canceled or that dice, that dice dies owner, I can speak, takes damage, return that die to its owner's prep area. And uh, Anger Issues. Make sure that's on camera. Uh, target character gets plus three attack and overcrush, which is kind of like trample from magic. If you manage to take out all of your blockers, any excess damage is dealt to your opponent. It has a global ability, the first one we've seen. Pay a uh, fist energy. Target character gets plus one attack until end of turn, and I'm not doing this very well. And there's vulnerability. Choose an opposing character. If you damage that character this turn, KO it, draw a die from your bag, and place it into your prep area. And like I said, those are only four of the eight basic actions you can get in this set. Now let's take a look at some of the extended characters and villains and such that you'll get in the rest of the gravity feed packs. 
Okay, now I can't, I really don't have the time to go over every single power on all these cards. I just wanted to show you one example of each of the other types of cards you can find in the Gravity Feeds along with their die. So you can have an example of whether or not your favorite character is actually going to be in this set. You have Aquaman, who is still popular for some reason. Uh, the Atom, Ray Palmer, although he actually has a Ray Palmer card. This is not it. Uh, you have equipment in this uh, version of the game. You have the Battering in particular, which has some pretty funky effects. You have Black Canarians, is actually her super rare card. Uh, Dina Laurel Lance, although she isn't called D Dina or Dinah in the TV show. Anyways, uh, Black Manta, you have the Artificial Gills card. You have Blue Beetle, who's actually one of my favorite characters. I really like, well, I don't know. I haven't really read up on him lately. I don't know if he sucks now. But there's his buddy, Booster Gold, who has a very obnoxious character. You have uh, Brainiac. This is his 12th level intelligence card. Uh, you have Captain Cold. I don't know. He stopped using a gun at some point. I didn't realize that. But there's his Leonard Snart card. Uh, here's Catwoman, Selena Kyle. She also has a super rare in this set. Here is Cheetah, the Dr. Barbara and Minerva card. And then Constantine, who also has one of the... Every set has four super rares. So here's uh, Constant. This is not Constantine's, but he has one in this set as well. There's a con artist. This is a lot of weird powers about like guessing dice that you're drawing from either your bag or your opponent's bag. Here's Cyborg, Vic Stone. Not particularly that card, but there's Dead Man, who I'm surprised. They go for some deep cuts in this set. There's Firestorm, uh, who premiered on The Flash this season, the TV show. And speaking of that, there is The Flash. There is one of Flash's super rares from the set. He has the fourth one. I was very happy to get that one. Uh, here's Green Lantern, probably my favorite character. I actually think that Hal Jordan is not the greatest Green Lantern, but I like Green Lantern in general. So there's that. You have Harley Quinn. So there's a lot of villains in this set as well. They're not being left out. There's Harley Quinn. She has stuff that helps the Joker. There's Hawkman for some reason. There's the Joker himself, who has probably one of the worst dice as far as what they look like in the game. But uh, still glad that he's in the set. Although it, it matches color-wise, at least. There is Katana, whose uh, die could be mistaken for uh, Juggernaut of a different color. There is the Lantern Power Ring, the other piece of equipment that is in this set. I think there's only two total pieces of equipment. There is Lex Luthor's die, who is, I guess that's like his logo. And Red Tornado. He's another character in the set. Uh, Robin... I don't know which Robin that is. I guess that's his son, Damian Robin, although he has says stuff like Circus Star, so it doesn't make a ton of sense. There is Shazam, because they're just calling him Shazam now, since that makes more sense than uh, Captain Marvel and avoids confusion. You have Sinistro, one of my favorite villains, since Green Lantern is one of my favorite heroes. You have Solomon Grundy, and his cards are funny because they say, Born on a Monday. It's, it's every lyric, every one of his cards is like lyrics from the poem that has to do with him. There's Stargirl, one of the Justice Society of America. I'm not even sure if they really fit into the DCU at this point. Swamp Thing, one of my other favorite comic book characters. Uh, whoops, there you go. It probably would help if you saw that on camera. And then Vibe, who is actually a character on The Flash as well, and people are wondering whether or not he's ever going to gain his Vibe powers in the show. And then finally, since we went in alphabetical order, there is Vixen, who I was unaware even existed, but she seems neat. So that's just, I just wanted to show you which characters you can expect to see in the set and which equipment. That's DC Dice Masters. Let's get to my final thoughts. So first off, I will say up front that at this point, and I have played every main set of Dice Masters that has come out to this point, I've had the starter for every one of the sets. I've bought many, many boosters for some of the sets. I have a, a few Avengers vs. X-Men. Sadly, I think I missed the boat on that, and now it's completely out of print. Um, I have quite a few packs of Uncanny X-Men. I never bought anything else for Yu-Gi-Oh! because that's the worst set, in my opinion, and I have no interest in delving into that. And I bought a ton of DC and Dungeons and & Dragons. So, having looked at all these sets and played with each of them a bit, I can tell you for sure that Dungeons & Dragons Battles for Faerun is my favorite set by far, and nothing in DC has changed that. Now, does that mean that the other sets suck? Absolutely not. They're all fantastic and fun, and I'm enjoying this game more and more and more as I go along, and because they can all be integrated together with some rough edges here and there thanks to Dungeons & Dragons, 
I think that it's all great to have as much as you can if you have that kind of addictive collectible personality, which apparently I do. <laughs> but I still love Dungeons and Dragons more than the others, just because I felt that it brought more to the table with the leveling up system and the, the variety of creatures and how they interacted. I, I, I don't know, I can't think of every single detail right now, but it just felt better to me. It felt more significant, and DC didn't change my opinion on that, but I'll say that DC is probably my second favorite set at this point. A lot of that has to do with the fact that comparing this, well, Yu-Gi-Oh's right out of the picture, forget about it. Comparing this set to Marvel's, uh, the Avengers vs. X-Men and Uncanny X-Men, I'm just slightly more of a DC fan. I think on average, Marvel has more cooler characters, but some of the characters that I love, absolutely love in comic books, are DC, and I love having them available in this set. And I also think on a broader scale, mechanically speaking, there I love how they're integrating more like tribal stuff into this set. More than I seem to notice in AVX and Uncanny X-Men. And Dice Masters fans, please feel free to berate me for this because I did not delve into those sets as much as a lot of you probably did. But it seems to me that there's more stuff that involves uh, the villain faction and heroes getting bonuses against villains and villains giving bonuses to each other and um, things with uh, the Justice League and more stuff like if Robin gets a bonus to bringing Batman out or vice versa and things with the Joker and Harley Quinn. That type of synergy between cards seems to be a bit more present in this set and I enjoy that quite a bit on top of the fact that I like these characters more and enjoy seeing them uh, in printed form and able to play with them. Now, and so, it's tough for me because I don't have like a lot of deep thoughts about this set compared to the others. That's probably about the end of it for this specific set. But if I can give a general state of where I think Dice Masters is at right now, it's great. It really is. There's so much content that you have, and yet it doesn't feel overwhelming. Like I said that I, I can't get AVX anymore, which sucks. But there's so much else that I have. And there's so many cards between the sets that just feel very similar to each other that I think that this set will never quite reach the heights, or this game in general, will never quite reach what Magic has become, where it's just such a tremendously varied pool of cards. I think that Dice Masters is going to continue to repeat itself in a lot of ways, with some variation, but not a ton. That's just the impression that I get now. But... You know, it is great to have the theme that you want, to be able to play with the heroes that you want, and it just gives it, even though the game is not the most thematic in the world, I maintain it's very cool to build a team with Green Lantern and uh, the, the dragon from Dungeons and Dragons, and a gelatinous cube, and then a shadow cat. I, this is the type of team you can make, and the Dark Magician, sure. Uh, this is the type of team you can make with this game, and so more Dice Masters is better. DC is my second favorite set because I do think that the cards work better together. I love the artwork, and I just love having more and more stuff for this set. So if you're not on board yet, this is a great set to jump on with, and you should before all of it becomes hard to get because that's going to happen, I guess. That is DC Dice DC Dice Masters Justice League is the official name for this set from WizKids. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.